198,000 cases of bladder cancer occur every year. Approximately 85,000 people die of it. This would not be necessary if we had serum levels of vitamin D between the 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter mark. Welcome to DFACS. I am Carol Baggerly, Director of Grassroots Health, and this is a publication of our project, the D-Action Project, which is aiming at solving the world's vitamin D deficiency epidemic. Today we also have with us Dr. Cedric Garland, professor at the University of California, San Diego School of Medicine and Moore's Cancer Center, here with us to talk about bladder cancer. He has just released a brand new paper on it showing that we can prevent a sizable portion of it with vitamin D. Dr. Garland, thank you for coming. Well, oh, thanks for having me, Carol. Please tell me what the most significant finding is about this that you came upon in your paper. Well, the most important finding is, is that 40% of bladder cancer could be eliminated if we just maintained adequate levels of vitamin D in the blood. The number you mentioned, 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter, would eliminate this large proportion of this uh, terrible disease. You have mentioned in times past that most cancers are epithelial cell cancers. Is bladder cancer an epithelial cell cancer? Yes, it are, the cancer arises in the epithelium or the lining of the bladder, just a tiny proportion of the total mass of the bladder. Most of it is, is muscle. But the part that gets bladder cancer is epithelium. And it arises because the epithelial cells are not bound to each other well enough by tight junctions. Tight junctions are structures between the cells that keep them in touch with each other and inhibit proliferation and prevent cancer. With vitamin D levels adequately high, we're able to keep the tight junctions intact. That prevents the crowding of cells, the use of natural selection by the, um, the population of cells, and ultimately the, the cancer itself. Wow. So part of the reason that we have the cancer is because the cells come apart? Yes, it's the very first stage in a process called dynamite. And the first stage is decoupling, or loss of the little junctions between the cells. When those junctions are lost, the cells go into a program going back billions of years that causes them to proliferate. When they proliferate, they crowd each other. When they crowd, natural selection allows the selection of the fastest growing clone, the cells that grow the fastest and are most aggressive. And that's what constitutes cancer. And we could nip it in the bud with vitamin D. Wow. In terms of with the bladder cancer, you've discovered a lot of relationships between cancer and different latitudes. Bladder cancer was yet another one. How much evidence did this add to the story you already have, or how does this clinch the picture with cancer and vitamin D for you? Well, this was a site in which previous research had not been done uh, in the laboratory, uh, and it, it didn't, there wasn't any reason to believe at the outset that there would be another cancer that would be sensitive to vitamin D. But it turned out that there was, that it was an epithelial cell cancer, that it has the same pathogenesis, and it's providing another test of the vitamin D theory. And the question I always ask is, okay, what do we do about it? Well, the first thing is universal testing of everyone for vitamin D level. It's done using a test called the 25-hydroxy vitamin D test. We should all have this done each year. It's more important than most of the tests that we actually get right now. That will allow us to maintain a level of 40 to 60 nanograms per ml, which will prevent at least 40% of bladder cancer. With this disease, you also need to not smoke because the remaining 60% is due to cigarette smoking. And it's not hard to get the test. Any doctor can order it. Or if you like, you can order it yourself from grassrootshealth.net. And the um, website has a means of signing up joining a study and uh, actually getting into regular testing of your vitamin D level in your blood. Thank you. Sure. Thanks to all of you for listening in on our latest edition of DFACS to know that bladder cancer is yet one more cancer that can be largely prevented by adequate intake of vitamin D. Please log on to www.grassrootshealth.net to check on these and other releases of DFACS and certainly to learn about our D-Action study. Thank you again for coming.